kids. Ideally, you'd just be able to wheel them out when you want a cuddle or a giggle. But unfortunately, once you've had them, they permeate every aspect of your life, including your triathlon. Now, no one wants to give up their triathlon goals and uh, getting rid of your kids is uh, frowned upon. So, how do you put the two together and keep sane? We're gonna look at some tips and tricks today. All jokes aside, having kids is going to affect your triathlon. And the first thing you need to do, if you've recently had a kid, is adjust your expectations for your triathlon. And probably everything else actually, but we're just talking about triathlon here today. So, if you've recently had a kid, be kind to yourself and to your partner, and don't set any too ambitious triathlon goals for the first year or two. But once you're through the dark tunnel, that is the first couple of years of nappy changing and baby care, you can start looking at ways to get your triathlon goals back on track. And including the kids in that training too. Some of the ideas today are just simple ways to train with your kids without them getting bored. Others are practical interventions and ways you can train with your family and make that family dynamic work with your triathlon goals so you can have a healthy, happy, triathlon family. Planning is key when it comes to training with kids and when you get busy that's the first thing that goes then everything spirals and you'll never get those workouts in. In order to get those workouts in you have to have a set time in your day to do them and to do this you need to spend some time planning. The best tip is to get it done early in the morning. The early morning while might be the hardest for you to get yourself out of bed for, is the time you'll be least missed by your kids, which means it's the time you're least missed by your significant other. It is also the time when you're least likely to have something other than work that is more important than training come up and disturb your day and make you miss that session. When your kids are small, you can just bring them with you for the session. Use a running stroller, a bike trailer or a kid's bike seat and simply bring them with for the session. Understand that you're probably going to have to adjust your route and your speed based on having a kid there and your attention is going to be pulled in a few other directions other than your session. You also probably won't be able to attach a bike trailer or a kid's bike seat to your TT machine but you can still get fit and strong if you use a mountain bike or a gravel bike or even a road bike. And you can still do actual sessions with your kids in tow. For example, hill reps with the kids in a bike trailer on the bike seat. It'll only make you stronger. You have to, of course, include the kids in the session. Maybe give them a stopwatch or get them to count the laps that you're doing. Something that involves them rather than them just being passive spectators. And running with a jogging stroller at any speed will make you stronger. Trust me, take it from my experience, don't try and do the same route at the same speed with a jogging stroller because uh, you will feed it the next day. Also, follow the manufacturer's guidelines as far as age and safety precautions and always put a helmet on your kid. As your kids get older, they'll be able to join you in longer sessions and participate more. But they'll also learn to protest more when they don't want to do it. So to keep them interested, it's going to take a bit more enthusiasm and creativity from you. But if you do get them enthusiastic with some creativity, their enthusiasm will probably outlast yours. Try and include fun things like them controlling the session, running, saying left, right, whatever, or even a quest, something that you have to do along the way, like to select targets. And remember to also include some rewards afterwards. After a long hard session, you get to have a beer, so your kids should get a reward too. Probably not a beer, but maybe an ice cream or a chocolate, just to say, you've worked hard today, well done. Once your kids are old enough to bike with you while you're running, or even run with you, it's even easier to include them a bit more. But it may be more difficult to actually train with them. However, they'll also be old enough now to understand being left for a little while. But it's still important to include them in your training. One way to do this is to include them in the warm-up or the cool-down. You can uh, 
go for the lap of the neighborhood before you start your bike ride or your run with them in tow and then drop them off and finish your session. Or you could have them ready to go when you get back from your session and pick them up, finish your, your session with a lap of the neighborhood with the kids and they'll be part of your training. And that's important to keep their enthusiasm for your sport alive so that they don't resent your sport taking you away from them. Once your kids are school age or teenagers, they've probably got lots going on in their own lives, like football practice and after school clubs. You can still include these in your training by doing things like running laps of the sports field while they do their practice. The other parents might look at you a bit strangely, but secretly they'll be wishing they were as dedicated as you. Hopefully your enthusiasm for your training will rub off on them and they'll be keen to do their own training. If your kids have shown some enthusiasm for sport and they're into it, that's great. You now want to foster this, but be careful on how you do this. Don't start pushing and take the enjoyment out of it. In fact, fun should always be the goal. To keep them interested and enthusiastic, set a goal, make it fun achieving that goal, and most importantly, do it with them. That'll keep them motivated and inspired and enthusiastic, and it'll set them up for a lifetime in sport. Race day is of course the best day to include your kids in. Your nerves and excitement will be felt by them and it will make it a hugely memorable day in their childhood. I remember my parents' races when I was a kid, even if I can't remember a single detail about the race or where they came. But race day can backfire badly. It is a long day, so planning is key. Kids will want to help and support and be part of your day. But if they feel like they're in your way or just left in the background, it can quickly turn to a long day of boredom and sulking. Pretty soon, your kids will associate these feelings with your races and you'll be heading to those races on your own. To avoid this, again, include them in every part of your day. Get them to help with your stuff. Push your bike to T1. Help with your wetsuit. Be ready with your drinks and answer all their questions, even if the, you're trying to concentrate on how many gels you've packed. Also, make sure whoever is looking after them during the event takes them away for some quiet downtime, away from the race excitement, for an hour or two, or more if it's a 70.3 Ironman. It's hard for an adult to maintain excitement for a whole triathlon of supporting, never mind a child. Pack those electronic babysitters and find a quiet tree for them to relax at or watch a TV show with a snack. It's your endurance event, not theirs. Having triathlon goals and kids can be challenging, but they're not mutually exclusive and you can do both. Kids instinctively have a love of sport and nurturing this love will set them up really well to be healthy and active later on in life. So plan, prepare and sacrifice a little and you can have a triathlon family rather than a family with a triathlete in it.